Happy Saturday morning. My name is Scott Smith and I'm an eBay seller in gems.fl. And today I'm going to do Tales from my PC. Uh, this will be my second video for this and I'm changing uh, up what I was going to do, which was SGC um, non-sport cards and then keep going with SGC. I recently re-upped on PSA and they gave me this beautiful uh, swag uh, PSA backpack. Also, um, I had did one of their specials, uh, 1980 uh, baseball cards. I sent like a, just shy of 140, I believe, and they just got it not long ago. And it's already uh, in the third stage. And actually, it's actually being done faster than SGC. Um, so uh, I decided to do a PSA, Tales, uh, Tales from a PC uh, edition in honor of the fast service and the gift. And I wanted to give you guys some other ideas and things to collect. Uh, right over here, you got Don Ross tops and another tops. Uh, these were called like oddball cards, like sailor products, uh, different sets, just not your normal base like these base type cards. Um, and uh, I used to do shows, uh, card shows in Florida. And I did a few up north in Maryland, DC, Virginia area, way back when. And um, I was always known for selling the odd, oddball cards and parallels. Uh, before it became sh super short prints and um, you know game used cards and autographs um, I still have a infinity um, for uh, collecting oddball cards and buying and selling them and uh, this is one of the sets right here this is a 1982 tops 1982 Topps uh, Kmart set, and it's the 20th anniversary set they came out. I was uh, 12 years old when this came out, so yes, I'm dating myself, but uh, it has great memories. When this came out uh, in Washington, D.C., they started doing some, um, what do they call it? They call it old-timer games, I believe, and uh, it was really cool because some of these guys in the set were doing these old timers and games and you got to meet them, you hand them the card and they would sign it and it just brought a lot of great memories. And uh, anyways, I'm doing a PSA um, Gemmet set and um, there's some low reports on some of the cards uh, for getting a Gemmet 10. I'm decently into the set. I have a, a fair amount of them graded PSA 10. I still got... Um, a few more to go but here's what I got so far this is a uh, card number one Mickey Mantle from the 62 and uh, this is the back here's card number three Elston Howard PSA 10 here is a uh, Sandy Koufax Card number four, PSA 10. Willie Mays, 19, 1965 MVP of the National League. And this card number eight is PSA 10. Frank Robinson, PSA 10. Roberto Clemente. Card number 10, PSA 10. Carl Yastrzemski, card number 11, from the 67 MVP American League, PSA 10. Bob, sweet, get off my plate, sweet chin music. Uh, that man, if, uh, the gentleman here, uh, if you, you, you hover that plate, he will definitely throw a ball and knock you back. Um, what amazing pitcher he was. Uh, I really wish some um, today's pitchers will take a look in history. 
how he pitched and take that mentality. Uh, I think there'd be more success and the game may be a little more exciting. Uh, so anyways, this is a 82 Kmart uh, Bob Gibson card number 14 PSA 10. Harmon Killebrew, card number 15, PSA 10. And yes, he was a good ball player, size a, a great manager. Joe Torrey, his 71 National League MVP, card number 20, PSA 10. One of the greatest catchers of all time, Johnny Bench, card number 22, PSA 10. Oops, come on. Jackie Robs in card number 23, PSA 10. Pete Rose, 1973, card number 24, PSA 10. Ooh. Joe Morgan, 1982, Kmart, top set, card number 28, PSA 10. Another legendary catcher, Thurman Munson, card number 29, PSA 10. George Foster, card number 32, PSA 10. And those backs are pretty good. Let me just show you. I like those backs. You can easily read, tells you about why they what they did that season, why they were the MVP and everything. And here's uh, one of the guys I love to collect. I have a PC personal collection of him. And besides collecting him in this set, this is Dave Parker, card number 34, PSA 10. Keith Hernandez, card number 36, PSA 10. Mike Schmidt, card number 41. I have a personal collection of his stuff too. Mike Schmidt, PSA 10. And the last card will be Don Drysdale, card number 42, PSA 10. Anyways, it gives you some ideas, what to, uh, some things you might want to collect, or if you like uh, ball cards and different cards, like serial cards or or like uh, police sets and or so forth, then uh, this kind of give you an idea. And, you know, you can bring back some memories. Like when I get one of these and I get it um, graded, it, it does take me back to the days where my dad took me to the old timers games and I had that one of the sets in my hand and I would be rooting through the cards trying to find the guy that, uh, you know, by the bullpen or uh, checking into the stadium and try to get him to sign my card and um, everything. And I appreciate the, watching this video. I'll be doing another Tales from the PC, another um, PSA um, oddball set uh, that you can think about collecting in a few minutes. Thank you, bye.